And today I'd like to talk about the different options that you have uh, in backing up your Mac. So you can do Time Machine, you can uh, put stuff into iCloud, you can put stuff into Google Drive, you have all these different cloud services. You can even use an external drive and just drag and drop uh, data onto it. Uh, but we'll talk about which one has the best, you know, kind of redundancy and that kind of thing. So let's kind of jump right into it. Uh, and I'd like to start off with the uh, most obvious solution and uh, uh, the one that right off the bat, honestly, is the most uh, kind of secure and redundant one. And then one that'll, you know, copy all the data on your computer A to Z so you don't have to, you know, worry about, oh, did I back this up? Did I not back this up? So uh, what you want to do is buy yourself a hard drive uh, so that's at least double the size of your internal drive. So if your hard, internal hard drive is, let's say, 256 gigabytes, uh, you want to get yourself a hard drive that's at least 500 gigabytes in size uh, so that you have some, uh, you have some space to, uh, you know, kind of build up backups throughout time. Because what, what Time Machine also does, uh, and, you know, contra not contrary to its name, it... Uh, literally backs up things throughout time. So if you deleted a file on October, uh, let's say, 1st, and you created, let's say, two backups afterwards, and then you're like, oh, well, I deleted that file and I need it, you can actually go back through time to the date where that file was still on the computer, access it, and copy it again to your desktop. So the Time Machine is quite a powerful uh, tool. But uh, once you have that drive plugged in, you're going to want to format it uh, so that it works with the Mac. Uh, some drives, most drives really, they've come pre-formatted for PCs, so you'll just have to do uh, one quick step to get it uh, working with your Mac. Uh, you can go right up to Spotlight and just type Disk Utility. I already had it up luckily, and we'll hit Return, and you'll see your drive there. Mine is my passport, and it has an untitled partition. Uh, what we'll do is click Erase, and we'll name it My TMB, Time Machine Backup. Okay. The format is going to be Mac OS Extended Journaled, and the scheme is going to be GUID for the partition map. And then we'll hit Erase. And sometimes you might get an error. Just hit Done and click your race again. I don't know why it likes doing that, but I think it just might be a weird issue going on with my computer right now. Uh, but after the second attempt, it usually agrees with me. Okay. It's creating the partition map, excellent. So now that it is created, it'll actually auto prompt you, hey, do you want to use this drive as a time machine backup? Uh, in my scenario, yes, I will use it. Uh, also, uh, you have the option to encrypt uh, the backup disk. Uh, I'm not going to get into that today, so we'll just go ahead and say use as backup disk. Okay, and then uh, from the time machine uh, m kind of uh, system preferences menu uh, or system preferences tab, uh, you can get to that by going to the Apple logo, hitting System Preferences, or it'll be in your in your dock as well. It's that little gear, okay? And then you can click on the Time Machine icon. Alrighty, so uh, the first backup will automatically start. Uh, you also have this option here that says Show Time Machine in the menu bar, which I will check off so that we can have the little Time Machine icon all the way on the top here. Uh, so you can skip this backup, you can enter Time Machine, uh, you can only enter Time Machine once you have at least one backup, and you want to have like a finder window open so that it can enter into that specific uh, folder, but uh, once it backs up, you can, you can try that, you can't do that currently. But uh, from within the Time Machine options kind of window, uh, let's take a look at some other, let me just close this disk utility. From the Time Machine uh, backup window, let's take a look at the options button here. This says exclude these items. Now, this will uh, come into play when, let's say you have like a flash drive or something plugged in. You can actually back up that flash drive to your um, uh, external hard drive, to your Time Machine backup as well. So that in case you lose the flash drive or the flash drive crashes, you have a backup. Uh, so that's a really, really uh, kind of kind of important thing that a lot of 
folks tend to overlook is that you can actually back up a flash drive too. Because essentially, there's no such thing as a storage media that doesn't eventually uh, stop working. Alrighty. And one thing to kind of keep in mind about Time Machine is that it is not a place where, so let's say you do Time Machine, uh, you perform a Time Machine backup, and then you go ahead and delete the pictures off of your hard drive to free up space. That's not the purpose of it. The purpose of a Time Machine backup is uh, a, f uh, a form of redundancy, so that if A fails, you have B, and if B fails, you have A. So in other words, Either or either one of these hard drives can fail. Your time machine backup drive can fail at any time, and so can your external hard drive. So it's just a matter of having that storage in two places so that when one fails, you can quickly go out, buy another hard drive, and restore that kind of backup data onto another drive so that you constantly throughout time have, have you know two copies of that data in two different places. So uh, not a good idea to use an external hard drive as a place you know to keep extra you know it's like an extra storage space it's not extra storage space it's a it's a place where you have a redundant copy so I uh, just wanted to get that out of the way uh, okay so some folks uh, you know for whatever reason don't like time machine I've worked in uh, a couple of organizations where they don't like restoring from time machine backups they don't like using time machine backups why I don't know but uh, in any case we'll talk about other options as far as backups go. Uh, one excellent option is using Google Drive. Okay, especially if you work for an organization uh, that like that's a non not for profit. Non for profits, uh, especially schools, have unlimited Google Drive storage. But essentially, Google Drive, uh, once you put your data on there, you can pretty much rest easy knowing that nothing is going to happen to it. You're not going to lose your data once it's on Google Drive. Reason being is that Google does redundant backups to infinity. So if they have a server that crashes, they have a server that's backing up that server. And if that server crashes, they probably have a third one backing that one up as well. So uh, if you can afford the storage, if you can get a lot of uh, you know cloud storage, whether it be with Google Drive or Dropbox or uh, iCloud Drive, not a bad idea you know it's okay to keep that stuff on there but just keep in mind that if you need to access a file and you don't have internet access that's where it can kind of become a problem because you know I need to access a file but I don't have uh, Wi-Fi or I don't have cellular data so that's one of the things that you kind of have to think about you know what data can I keep in the cloud if it's not super crucial and you know what data you know, can I keep in the cloud that's not, you know, like operation crucial that I'm not going to need, you know, at the, you know, snap of my fingers. Uh, and then finally, uh, kind of like another option aside from Time Machine is, you know, once you format that hard drive, which is uh, my, T, my um, TMB over here, you don't necessarily have to do a Time Machine backup with it. You can actually take let's say files, let's say let's create this folder here uh, it's gonna be my, let's name it something my stuff okay you can actually just take that folder, right click, copy it and you can paste it, you can just copy and paste it right into uh, that external hard drive that's another form of backing up, not efficient but still you can do it and then you can take it a step further you can go into your hard drive go into users and then go into your user folder and then you can copy the desktop folder the documents folder the downloads folder movies music pictures so these are the primary uh, user folders where you save all of your data so you can place you know you can place copies into your drive that way if you don't want to use time machine but other than that, uh, that's uh, those are like uh, the you know top top two three ways of uh, performing backups on your Mac. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you next time.